All right, so oh, the, the lesion here is not really important. I wanted to show you something incidental, something that we see all the time and we don't even usually comment on. Here's a dye, this is a sun damaged person. You can see that almost the entire dermis here is replaced by thick solar elastosis. And here's a really large dilated hair follicle. So this is probably on the face. And within this hair follicle, we have something kind of interesting. And if you've never heard of this before, it might disturb you a little bit. These are Demodex mites. So we've got like a little family of mites. These are actually little arthropods. Um, uh, and they, I guess you could think of them like parasites, but they don't actually harm you. They just live here in your hair follicle. And what they're trying to do is eat the sebaceous secretion. See the sebaceous uh, glands here? Those cells die off and get secreted out into the follicle. So you can see right there, the sebaceous gland drains into the follicle. And these demodex mites, see here's one mite, here's two mites, three mites, that's probably the little tail of a fourth mite up there. So it was a whole family and they, they were all living happily in this follicle until some dermatologist came and, and shaved them right off with a biopsy and, and, uh, and that was a sad ending for them. But in any case, these little mites were just here with their little heads down in the follicle, just trying to, to live happily and eat some sebaceous secretion. These mites do, you know, if you're watching this and you're kind of paranoid about parasites, let me be clear, this, these mites do not invade your body. They just live in the follicle. And technically the inner, per, uh, the inner lumen or portion of the hair follicle is technically outside your body. See, it connects with the outside world there. This is inside your body, past the epidermis and the dermis, that's inside your body. But this is outside. And if, say, your follicle ruptures, these mites can sometimes spill into the dermis, in which case they die. They cannot live inside your skin or invade your body or anything like that. They just live up on the surface and they tend to live right there in the follicle. If we go closer, you can see these are some of their inner organs and I'm not an entomologist, so I don't know actually what all the different little body parts are in there, but they're kind of, kind of cool to look at. And then see this, there's one leg, two legs, three legs, four legs. See, we've got little, we've got little legs there. And the, the head is kind of down here. We can't really see the center of the head because we're cutting at a funny angle. So if you see these funny things in follicles, that's what you're, that's what you're looking at. This is Demodex folliculorum. There's also a smaller version that lives deeper down in the sebaceous duct, and that's called Demodex brevis. Um, so if you're really into entomology, there's probably a, a whole uh, world of information to know about Demodex mites. In, in the vast majority of cases, these are almost like commensal organisms. They just live on our skin and live off of our secretions from our sebaceous glands, but they don't cause us any harm. Occasionally people do, um, if they have a whole bunch of these mites, some people think that if there's a lot of them, they can contribute to making rosacea worse or causing some kind of uh, rash uh, type of process from your body's immune system. But I think the vast majority of the times that's not the case. And so I almost never even comment on these unless the clinician is specifically asking me, hey, we think maybe this patient has demodicosis, you know, overload of demodex mites that's causing a problem. And if you want to be thoroughly disturbed, you can uh, look on YouTube for demodex. Um, and you can actually find videos of these scraped off the skin and crawling around, but um, I will warn you in advance, it might disturb you. So if you're, if you're prepared to see that, go and have fun. But if not, you might wanna, you might wanna skip uh, searching for that. But that's what Demodex is, and it's an incidental finding that we see, but I think knowing all these incidental findings is important because otherwise you might find that and think, what is this thing here? And that's just a Demodex mite.